Hello guys, I'm Beznardum, and welcome to Beznardum in Minecraft. It's been quite some time since I've made a video here on this channel, and for good reason too. I've been very caught up in my studies at uh, university. I'm becoming a game developer and also a um, concept artist. But as I progress, I actually feel better if I lead in a um, animation um, course. So that will be um, possibly next year or the year after that I go into that. But enough of that. Uh, last time I was here, last time you saw me, actually, was... Um, I think it was Super Hostile Sea of Flames, which um, was a CTM map made by Vex. You can search for him and find out who he is, which I'm pretty sure you already know who he is. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I've completed that series, but because it's been so long, I feel uploading that footage would be a bit pointless. So, if you're wondering if I'm ever going to upload that, I possibly will not. I don't think I will, because I think when I recorded it, it was in 1.5? I'm, I'm, I don't want to say 4, because that's a bit further away, <laughs> obviously. Um... But anyway, here we are in a brand new world, a brand new beginning, and a brand new series. Um, my spawn point was just up here on this hill, which I'm quite happy with because I'm surrounded by plenty of planes and... Oh, oh god, that almost scared me, but it didn't. It's surrounded by plains and forests, which I'm happy about because I hate um, spawning in deserts because I feel like the opening into a new world should be green and um, floricking. That's not a word. <laughs> Flourishing. Is that a word? Is that a word? No, it's not. This is where I spawned. And I always like to just mark my point on where I spawned because I plan on being in this world for quite some time and hopefully I'll be able to make a little spawn spawning dome. If I break my bed, I'll be able to spawn here, have plenty of gear to get back to my stuff safely. But that's, that's way in the future. I don't plan on doing that for a while. Um, what I want to do, though... What I want to do is just get basic gear up, get ready, make a little um, starter house, a spawn house, I guess you could say. A spawn house here um, in this area that maybe if I lose my bed, I can just run into that spawn house. Um, and yeah, just basically build off that and than travel into the world and finding new stuff, <laughs> like everyone else does. <laughs> um, I don't have any food. I need to kill off one of these chickens quickly. I don't have a sword either. Jeez. And I was just playing this a moment ago. So I've been, so as you just heard, I've been playing for a little bit, not a whole lot, just enough to kill a couple of sheep and um, get started with a little mine. Oops, that's way too much. I won't say way too much, but oh well. Um, yeah. So I have set my spawn point here, even though my spawn point's just up there. And I just have a small tree farm there, so I can make a little starter house. But in this episode, I just want to talk about... Um, where I plan on taking this channel and where I plan on taking this series. Um, I obviously don't really, I don't really care if 
um, you know, anything really happens with the channel. I'm actually just happy to do this as a hobby because I feel like to grow as a individual, I have to be able to know how to be comfortable in all types of situations. And one of those situations is to be able to talk to myself like a lunatic. <laughs> okay, I I don't know where I was going with that, but you probably don't understand what uh, what the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, <laughs> like I said, I have a base of mine just down here where I'm going to go down and mine. Whoops. Fratch. Fr uh, fratch. <laughs> Fraps just stops recording there for a second. Oh well. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make a new pick here, um, even though this durability isn't that much used. Only because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of mining around here just to gather up resources and I I I don't I don't feel lucky down here for some reason only because well there's a lot of lava here and lava and me aren't the best of friends so yeah I was hoping to hit a cave but instead of that I got this um, yeah I'm on hard I always like, always prefer to be out. Jeez, Fraps did it again. Don't know why. Um, okay. Oh yeah, we're pretty low. We're actually diamond level low. I'm actually pretty happy about that. But not so much about that. Because I got all the iron I could find on me right now. Um, no armor or anything yet, <laughs> because I only just, um, begun this world. Okay, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, because that's making me a bit on edge. <laughs> uh, we're going to go a little bit more down this way. And if I can't find a cave, I'm going to... I'm going to start doing another one of these, just digging down in a random spot so I can hopefully find one. And hopefully I don't bore you guys too much. So, yeah. Uh, come on. Let's go. Wait, am I diamond level? Yeah, I was. Okay. Because I just felt like I was going a bit too... Yep, there we go. <laughs> I felt like I was going a little bit too low for a second there. Um, it would be here. Yeah. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just try to dig straight here. If I don't find anything, then... Oh, okay. Never mind. Found something. No, I won't put that there. That looks ugly. Just a block under that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, th the reasons I didn't continue uploading my videos is because, as I mentioned earlier, I got caught up at... Not at. With my studies. And... I just didn't have much time to actually um, record anything, let alone edit and upload. I was a bit busy just well working. Um, and I hope to one day become a, well, a better animator than I am today. <laughs> um, well, I, not much confidence in myself, do I? <laughs> but, um... Oh, actually, speaking of animations, I'm working on an animation for this series. I'm going to be, um... 
working on putting something together as an intro. Um, the intro that you saw on this first video was just something I made uh, a long time ago from a template that someone shared, which isn't that good um, to do, because I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, it's not my original stuff. I can, you know, do stuff on After Effects and everything, but nothing great. Love Lapis. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, right. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's something special to me because I didn't actually make it. So, this animation I'm going to make is going to feature a 2D cartoon version of me as my character. Um, and possibly featuring something that I've done or... Um, something that I plan on doing in this world. Yeah, I'll, let's say that. Uh, but then I'm not too sure how it's going to look, so... I won't say anything else. Because, <laughs> honestly, I probably will do the exact, uh, exact opposite of what I'm saying right now. Um, okay... Plenty of coal. Light that up. This is not a too bad cave. Only found um, lapis and coal though. I would have preferred some iron, but that will have to wait for another time. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna head up, head back up top and. Um, mine another hole and see if I can find anything and I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Looks like we're not really finding anything. This is a bit of a drag. <laughs> um, I'm hearing plenty of skeletons and zombies and a little bit further up I hear lots of spiders and that they seem to um, appear very sudden so I'm thinking there possibly may be a spawner there. Can't say for sure. Yeah, we're almost a, uh, just as I was about to say, we're almost a bedrock again. And yet, yeah, still nothing, so I'm gonna go a little bit up here to see if I can hear. Um, oh. Okay, there's a skeleton all around here. Um, I'm thinking this way. So, oh! <laughs> God, God damn it! Really? <sighs> I missed the cave by a block. A, a freaking block. <sighs> God damn it. Give me your bow. <sighs> this is. Oh. This is 
pretty funny in my head, to be honest. <laughs> There's this whole cave here, and I missed it by merely a block. And how many blocks? I could have gotten that plenty of times. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, now I'm a pin cushion almost. Gonna make some more torches here, and then we'll be able to look around and see what type of cave we've got here. Um, go down first. I, I think it was the best way to travel. <laughs> because, you know, going down leads you to something bright and shiny. Beautiful. Alright. Really need to get enough iron here to um, be able to get all suited up and eventually get, um, well, all the stuff. All the stuff. <laughs> so I'm able to survive without needing to worry about what's around the corner. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, if there's nothing down here... Oh, miss this. If there's nothing down that other way, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed, but I'm not. Hooray! We got some iron, some gold. We got all the jazz. But I'm not liking this open wo uh, open cave. It's a bit too open for my taste. Mobs can spawn anywhere. Oh, that's right. Oh, don't have an iron pick on me. Well, that's a shame. Um... Wow, this is pretty big. You know, if I clean this out enough... Oh, this is a ravine. Huh. Who would have guessed? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, like I was saying, if I worked on this enough, this could be my starter home. Just make it all underground, just, um, I guess you could say a bit like, um, how Etho from Etho's Lab is doing his, um, single player world, except I don't want to just keep it underground though, I like building on level, on the level or in the sky, that's my way, but yeah, this could be, this could be something right here. Plenty. Have a large foal into, I don't know, a lake in the middle of my underground base, or as Ether would say it, my man cave. <laughs> my man cave, yep. There you go. I keep moving. I'm used to the iron pick. Alright, well, I'm gonna go. Um, up above and make a chest of my gear. Oh, you know what? I'll just I'm going to bring all my gear down here, and we'll see where we go with that. So, be back in a second. All right, guys. I grabbed what I could fit in my inventory, and kind of ran into some trouble as well, sadly, but here we are. Spawn set now. Get up. <laughs> oh, if you're wondering why some of my stuff is a different name, for example, Raw Chick instead of Raw Chicken, it's because I'm playing the Australian, um, the Australian, I guess you could say language, <laughs> um, even though it's not a language. But that's what it is. I'm playing the Australian version of words, apparently, because I'm Australian and 
I guess that's how it should be. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But anyways, here we are down in my, I guess you could say, my man cave. Uh, I don't want to call it that. People are just copying. But yeah, I'm down here in my little um, spawn cave. And I'm going to just set everything up. Oh, look. Good on ya. <laughs> going to set everything up. And, well, I guess make sure I'm able to survive down here for a little. Um, I just killed some more chickens so I can actually eat. And I'll pop that iron in there as well. Because why not? And I guess all this other stuff can just go down here. Got a single egg, excuse me, pardon me. Got a single egg. That's not going to get me a chicken, I know that. So I'm going to have to go back up and bring some animals down here and make a farm, I guess. Or I could just make a farm up there. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Next episode, you're going to see me make a farm up above and um, I guess make a little area in this cave where I can safely, um, you know, just sleep. I'm going to try to light up as much as I can and... And yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, I've been Beznardum, and I'll catch you later.